today we're going to be taking a look at Lords of the Fallen on the RTX 3080 Ti. We're going to take a look at the performance and the type of uh, frame rate that we get with the different resolutions and graphical settings. We're going to start with 1440p first and the ultra preset. So right now we're running 1440p native, no DLSS of any kind, and we're on the ultra preset. So let's go down the towards this tutorial boss here and see what type of performance we get because uh, I did a similar video on a few of my other GPUs and this area here is quite a bit more demanding okay all right well I already killed the boss, forgot all about it. <laughs> I have made a few characters, but that's okay because this gives us a good opportunity to drop from the ultra preset to the high preset. Because the goal is to try to maintain a 60 FPS experience and we're going to try to do that natively without DLSS first. So let's drop to the high preset and see the type of performance we get. So. Like I showed in my other graphics cards, with my other videos, you do get a good chunk of performance back by just going from the ultra to the high preset. And you don't really lose much on the visual fidelity, in my opinion. Like, I can't really tell that there's a big difference, really. So I would say, with the 3080 Ti, you can definitely play at 1440p on the high preset, or maybe you can combine the two um, to hover around 60. Absolutely. So we're going to go move forward here, and then we'll also give DLSS a try. And then we'll check out 4K, because um, I am getting a little bit better performance with the 3080 Ti than I did with the 6800 XT. And we were able to pull... 4K off with the 6800 XT. So we should be able to do it with the 3080 Ti as well. So we're going to try that next. We're going to try DLSS first. I would say the game is totally playable. 1440p high preset. Ultra preset? I don't think so just because you can drop below 60 and I wouldn't play this type of game below 60 I always personally. You'll probably take it lightly. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to the regular realm. And we'll check out DLSS quality with the Ultra preset. So this is pretty good performance here. Alright, let's give it a try. So we're going to go back to the Ultra preset and DLSS quality. We'll put the sharpness all the way down, apply changes, and uh, yeah, 84 FPS, that's really good. Very good. You could totally play at uh, 1440p DLSS quality, actually it looks pretty good. Let's keep moving forward here. And then we'll check out 4K in this same area. Let's pop a heal. He got me first. Okay. So I don't think it's even really worth to check out the high preset because it's perfectly fine with the ultra preset. Why don't we just jump at 4K and see what that is like? Because I think you could totally play at 4K with the 3080 Ti. This game actually runs pretty well. Even though it's demanding, it runs 
it runs well. There's no um, there's no stutters or anything like that, which is very good. But that's besides the point. We're gonna jump on 4K. Okay, so this is 4K now. We'll go through the settings real quick. We're at 3840 by 2160 with DLSS in quality and graphics. I've gone ahead and went to the high preset this time because I think this is uh, you can uh, have a 60 FPS experience here with a 3080 Ti. So we'll continue to play here a little bit, uh, sort of pick up where we left off with 1440p. And I think this is probably how I would play the game um, at 4K. I, I think it's totally playable. Um, runs, feels very good to play. But if you wanted some more frames, you could probably go with... Um, you could go with DLSS Balanced, which actually looks pretty good at 4K. And we're going to check that out as well. guys hit hard. Yeah. So definitely uh, 60 frames per second experience. Pretty much with uh, DLSS quality and the high preset. Totally. And then we'll check out DLSS balance with a high preset so if you want to go with a little bit more frames let me go out of the way of this guy before he kills me and we'll try it out okay let's try DLSS balanced there we go so we're still on the high preset so we're in the 80s of FPS this feels pretty good Let's throw this guy out of here. Get out of here. You maggot. Alright. Yeah. So, I think you could go with either or. DLSS quality. Or balance. Okay, he owned us, but I would say DLSS quality or balance, it's up to you. You could get DLSS quality with the high preset and get a 60 frames per second experience or, you know, 60 to 70 frames per second experience, or you could go DLSS balance and get uh, even probably another 10 to 15 more frames. And I would say the game feels great to play, looks great, and um, yeah, on to my conclusion then. So at 1440p you have a few choices. If you don't want to use any upscaling, you can just go with 1440p and high preset and you will get a s above 60 experience, so 60 to 80, something like that, okay? If you wanted to get a little bit higher fidelity, you would have to use DLSS, so 1440p Ultra Preset. It's probably how I would play it with DLSS quality and the Ultra Preset. At 4K, you unfortunately don't have a choice. You have to use DLSS, which for me personally, that's not a problem. I think DLSS works great at 4K, but you have to pretty much use it. The game is too demanding to not be able to use it. So at 4K, I would probably just go with DLSS quality and the high preset, you're going to get a 60 plus experience, so 60 to 70 around around that. And then if you wanted some more frames, you could drop the DLSS balance, which is what, what is being shown here on the screen. And I think DLSS balance at 4K looks really good as well. 
and that's pretty much what I think about the 3080 Ti. I think it. I think you can perfectly enjoy the game and have a great time with it if you have an RTX 3080 Ti. If you guys like this, give it a like, and thanks for watching my video. If you have any comments, suggestions, or requests, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.